Hey Valley Region, I'm Alexis Blankenship. I'm your regional president and I'm a junior at Turner Ashby High School. I'm Isabel Hours and I'm a senior at Turner Ashby High School. I'm also our chapter parliamentarian. And I'm Elsa Weidlich. I'm Turner Ashby High School's chapter secretary. And we were all on a team for children's stories the last two years and we got to go to nationals in 2019 for children's stories. Okay, so we are going to tell you a little bit about children's stories and our experience. So here's the overview. Applying leadership and 21st century skills, participants create an illustrated children's story of high artistic, instructional, and social value. The narrative may be written in prose or poetry and take the form of a fable, adventure story, or other structure. The physical storybook should be of high quality designed to meet the year's given theme which will be posted on the TSA website under competitions, themes, and problems. This year for the theme for middle school is participants design an interactive book for elementary school age students in grades three through five on the role of thermal energy and weather related phenomena, including thunderstorms and hurricanes. The high school theme is create a pop-up book in which the pop-ups illustrate the story. The story should include the use of non-renewable energy resources. When creating your book, be sure to have fun and be creative with it, but also follow the theme. So brainstorming is an important part of the process when making a children's book. It does take a while because you have to come up with the story, including the characters, the plot. Uh, you have to incorporate the theme. Um, something really important is to keep your intended audience in mind. Um, these are for children and sometimes it's a specific age group. So that's important. And also specs, including that you have to have a maximum of seven illustrations and a maximum of 12 minutes reading time. So when you're making your story, you don't want to make it too long that you can't finish it in the, max, the reading time. So the next step after you have a general story plan is construction. So you got to pay attention to all like the little details about rules about the book, but don't be overwhelmed. There's, there's a lot, but they aren't, most of them are pretty straightforward once you read them. So for example, the storybook can't be larger than a foot by a foot when it's closed. And again, you have to have seven illustrations. There's a maximum number of words, but not pages. Uh, and the binding has to be the work of your team, not professional. There's other guidelines, so you just have to check the actual rules, which I'm sure your advisor can get you. So here's some additional pictures of our construction process. You do have to have proper photo documentation. Um, you can see a lot in a couple of these pictures that we use different materials. That was part of the theme that year. So we have that sandpaper and tissue paper and fabric, which is helping with the multimodal was part of the theme last year. So it's important to make, take advantage of your resources. So here you can see on the left was the cover of our book last year. And this is a good example of how teamwork is really important to this competition. Um, for this thing, this cover, one person measured it, one person cut it, someone else painted it, and someone else cut out the letters, and someone else glued it on. So it was really a full team effort. On the other side, you can see one of our pages that was a moving part. And we struggled with that a little bit because after one of our field tests, it was kind of broken because it did not hold up to uh, kindergartners. <laughs> but afterwards, we managed to repair that and it improved our book. Here, um, you can see with that little circuit board there is the sound system we had for our book last year. So on the green little circles, as you can see on the book page, would make sound when pressed. Uh, that had a tendency to break. So in order to repair that, uh, some of our team members had to learn to solder, which ultimately was successful and the sound system uh, was effective. Okay, so another part of children's stories is field testing. It's a requirement and you have to have at least two field tests. So last year we went to our local elementary school and our local regional library. And last year, pictures were a requirement. This year, they are not, but be sure that your field test is documented. So another, one of the most critical parts, equally important to your 
actual book in terms of scoring is the documentation. So again, be careful to follow the directions on like number of pages and order and all that when um, completing this step. So you need a title page and there's information on what that includes. The purpose of your story, a plan of work log, which I have found it's really helpful to make a spreadsheet to keep track of that throughout the season and then be able to fill that all into the uh, work, official work log at the end. You have to have your field test assessments, which do no longer have to have pictures, but they must be signed by your advisor, so keep that in mind. You need a research summary, which is for the writing process, and a project summary, which is for the building and illustrating and constructing process. And then you also need your list of tools and your references. So one of the most important things for your rubric and your rules are these go no go specifications. If you don't have any one of these things, then your entry will not be judged. So it's really important to make sure that you have all of the things on this list. So that way your entry can be judged. And make sure you're looking at the rubric as well as the rules, because the rubric tells you exactly how the judges are going to be scoring your book. And sometimes there's things in there that you don't realize just by reading the rules. So we just like to add an extra comment to remember to look at the rules. This is an overview, but there are other details we don't want you to miss and potentially changes. So be on the lookout for those. Thanks for watching.